there are two Churchills. There's the living Churchill, who was reviled during his lifetime by both the left and the right. Even during the war, Churchill's unpopularity never went away. That is what explains the crushing defeat inflicted on Churchill and the Tories in 1945. The famine in Bengal, three million dead. The assault during the Second World War on the Greek resistance, which is one of the more horrific acts carried out by the British in Europe. The history of Churchill's intervention against the Bolshevik Revolution uh, in its early years, uh, which resulted in mutinies and which resulted in a very senior South African officer being court-martialed for refusing to use chemical weapons against Bolshevik villages. On every single issue, racism, gender, he was always on the reactionary side. He was against giving women the vote. The second Churchill, the Churchill present generations know, the Churchill of Hollywood, this Churchill actually is largely the product of post-imperial Britain in search of a role. So when Mrs. Thatcher in 1982 went to war to keep the Falkland Islands British. That is when Churchill's name began to come up again and again and again. And this cult, which started with the Falklands War, grew and grew and grew and became a substitute for Britain's actual position in the world. It remains to be seen which generation in this country will defeat the ideology that has been constructed around Churchill so that people can breathe freely again.